What's up guys? Uh, today we are at a, not a very new pond. You guys have seen it on the channel a couple times, bass fishing here. Uh, yesterday I actually hooked into a pretty big old bass. It was a good bass for the pond I was in on this tiny crankbait, uh, lipless crankbait, uh, retrieving it just up and down. Uh, that little crankbait right there. So today, I've just been recently catching fish on these lipless crankbaits, uh, letting them fall right in front of the fish's face and reeling them in. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I hope to get on some fish. I've got a couple hours. Uh, maybe we'll hook into a couple big ones. Hopefully, maybe. I. It's just getting warm here in Kentucky, and I'm enjoying it. I'm getting out here a lot fishing. So you guys stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll get on some fish and. Yeah, it's gonna be a good video, guys, so stay tuned. Got the old GoPro on. Uh, it's a pretty windy day to, here today, so we're in this little quiet cove part of the, uh, the lake. We're gonna fish it all, but I mean, this is kind of where it is easy for me right now to film and stuff, and it's just nice to set up at because there's no wind, but yeah, I'm basically, the way I've been catching these fish on these lipless lately is uh, it's called a yo-yo style, so you let it sink to the bottom, bring it up, let it sink again. You're just gonna keep doing that. Mostly the time, most of the time, the fish will hit it on the drop. Um, yesterday, I was just messing around. I come, I kind of lost hope. I was just kind of tired of it. I kept doing it for a while, and I sat down with my lure in the pond, got back up, pulled the lure back up, and on the drop. This fish just hammered it. I could feel it, and I was like, oh my god. Because I haven't caught a big bass in forever. This is kind of a small lipless. That's why I brought the spinning setup out. But uh, yeah, for some reason, that's what the big bass was calling yesterday, the smaller one. So I was just seeing if that trend occurred here in this pond today. But that's what we're using. Might switch to a bigger lipless here soon on my uh, bait casting setup over there. And be able to cover more water with it, but I'm just gonna stick with this for a little bit. Well, guys, just got swiped at by. I don't even know it's right here. Decent sized bass just swiped it. It's pretty annoying, if you ask me. <laughs> but we'll get another one. A lot of times that actually happens with this. I do not know why, but with with a lot of lipless cranks like this, the past couple of days I've been fishing with them, a lot of fish I've caught at the bank. What the heck? That is nasty. We on, we on, we on. We got the dink. There we go. First one of the day, he absolutely clobbered it. I don't know why his eyes are red, but that's pretty cool. There we go. Oh, first one of the day, guys. A little dinker. Uh, I mean, I'll take him, he's a fish. There we go. See you. God. Well, I freaking had one. Shoot. This is hard filming this because I don't have a lot of SD card left. So I try to turn it on as soon as I feel the bite and then I stop reeling. The fish gets off or it's on, but I definitely would have had that fish if I wasn't trying to film here. Heck yeah. These little guys are freaking everywhere, but um, I can't film the, the hook set. That's the coolest part which sucks i might just keep it running for a little bit but as soon as i as soon as i start running the camera i won't get a fish so at least they're little guys anyway 
I might have to switch to a bigger crank. I don't know how I caught a three pounder on this little thing yesterday, but right now it's just a dink slayer. Another one. See, little bud. Number two. Still got a couple hours left, too. So, the lip is killing them, but we might make a switch soon. At least we're getting on some fish right now. We're up on another one. Third cast. So, <laughs> these are just. This is the Dink Slayer, but pattern here is the wind's pushing all back in this cove i think all the baits back here in this cove are these fish are just chilling in shallower water i'm not positive but that's what it seems like so number three of the day we're really getting on a pattern here see how the wind's pushing back like this you guys are probably getting killed by the wind so sorry about that but wind's pushing back here gets shallow flat back here but right in the middle there's a little channel and this little bait fish just looks like a bunch of bait that's getting pushed back here so these fish are killing it it's a nice little nice little bass heck yeah little outsider band right there Let's see bud oh he went everywhere Let's see if we can get on another one but hopefully bigger right now if you guys are fishing ponds i don't really fish lakes too much because i don't really have a chance to but I know since I'm a pond fisherman, I like tips and stuff on ponds and everyone has tips for the bigger bodies of the water, but for a pond, I just like to use these little puss right now around this time of the year. Oh my, wait a second, never mind. I thought we had one already, but anyway, around this time of the year, use these little puss crankbaits. Um, do what I said, yo-yo style them or just rip them through. But right now, since, the, since it's cold, tree but since it's cold right now you want to kind of slow up your approach especially since the water is just barely warming up it's like on the rise but um yeah use your yo-yo style approach let it sink right in front of the fish's face you also catch bigger fish like that um just due to the fact that especially jesus this just sounds stupid i, I don't even know what i'm saying I'm, i can't do two things at once okay i'm not fishing right now so what you're going to want to do is throw out your bait. Let it sink to the bottom with the lipless crankbait. Just let it sink. And you're just going to lift it off the bottom and let it drop again for a couple of seconds. Lift it up. That's called the yo-yo style approach. Uh, it's dropping that bait right in front of the fish's face. Um, the more lethargic ones are going to eat it because they don't have to do much for it. Sometimes the bigger ones don't want to have to move as much, so they're going to eat that too. Um, yeah, just a good way to catch fish. I'm probably gonna improve my size, but right now I'm just going with a natural approach. And yeah, that's how I'm catching these fish right now. Just slowly lifting up and down, kind of like Texas rigged worm, you know. And I'm not retrieving fast at all. Rattle trap is just a very good bait for this time of year. Ooh. Holy crap, I just got bit. That makes me mad. That could have been a big one. That was a pretty decent fish right there, guys. There we go. Another dink. The daily dink. Actually, daily dinks. Yeah, we definitely have to go switch this crankbait out. We've caught so many freaking dinks, like these are tiny. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we can do. Alright guys, so the only box I brought today was my hard bait box. Um, that's all the fish have been biting on anyway, so... Uh, I came here with one thing on my mind was catching fish on the lipless. We've already done that. We've caught about four fish on the lipless. That's the most I've caught this year. Most like amount of fish I've caught this year, which they're all dinks, but I really want to try to catch a fish on this jerk bait here now. Um, 
I never really do too well on jerk baits, but it's it's the only other hard bait in my box. It's like earth color. Uh, I I really like that for the ponds that I fish around here because they're so heavily pressured. It really mimics exactly the uh, the bait fish around here. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna put this jerk bait on my bait caster setup right there. If I don't do if I don't do too well on it, I'll just switch back to the lipless. But I'm not catching too many big fish on that anyway, so. We'll see what we can do with this. Uh, it's a pretty cool, good looking bait. This little jerk bait right here. Probably three to four feet. There, I'll just show you like this. Yeah, so let's see what we can do with this. There we go. Let's go freaking get them, guys. If I catch a fish on this, I'm kind of thinking that it'll be a bigger fish, but who knows, honestly. You guys want to leave in the comments uh, a bait you think would work right now. I'd love to hear them. Uh, I really can't wait till this summer. I'm going to be cranking vids out for you guys. I'm trying to get one out this week. I know I missed Monday, so... It actually is Monday right now. I'm trying to get a vid out for you guys by at least Wednesday, but I'll definitely be a vid out this week whenever you guys end up seeing this. Well, I thought this would fix the problem here, guys, but we caught a dink on a jerk bait half its size so this ain't going too well we got a big problem here <laughs> dinks for days look at that that is probably about half or more than half of this fish and this fish just ate it that is insane wow i just freaking hooked into one another dink but That was really tough. Okay, bud, I'm gonna need you to chill so you don't get hurt anymore. Oh God. This is just, I don't even know. This is more than half of the fish. This is just insane. Well guys, that's catching fish on the crankbait, or on the lipless crank and the suspending jerk bait. Uh, it's a great, those are both two very great baits to use around this time of year um, in the uh, early spring and late winter. Uh, I highly recommend going out there in your local pond or body of water and using them. I really love them. Uh, I think you guys will too. And I'm glad I got to get out here and catch some fish, get a video out for you guys. So I'll see you guys next week. Stay tuned. I appreciate y'all watching and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, gave me a comment or liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Outsider out. Peace.